First of all, I wanted to say congratulations on your engagement to Amy Schumer. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You guys, yeah. like, it seems yeah, amazing. Yeah, it seems right. Yeah. Yeah. It just, just felt it just like... felt natural. Yeah. Yeah, we barely know each other, but I said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's Hollywood. It's right. LA. It yeah. is. It's Hollywood. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it makes sense. Um, I also love that the last time you two worked together, the movie was nominated for an Oscar. You were nominated for an Oscar. So, you know, something's working. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> you, t you choose really good work wives, I feel. Like, Thank you. Between Jennifer Lawrence. He's very loyal. And... Yeah. I think if it works, he kind of... He, it's, it's lovely that you do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it was lovely that you do that. <laughs> Aww. So obviously there's acting in the movie, but you guys did a lot of your own stuff. So we did all of it. Yeah, uh, yeah there were no, um, but we had Marcus we wearing his brigade, which yeah. was incredible. And there was a whole staff that was cooking the meals that you actually see, you know, in front of the camera. But in terms of the cooking of the food that you see all the people doing, we're doing it. And, and we also had the benefit of all the other cooks in the kitchen are all real cooks around London that agreed to do the movie. Incredible. So it was all these act, you know, these five actors surrounded by real chefs. And then you have Marcus Waring at the monitor watching, who's a two Michelin star chef, who's one of the greatest. Uh, so it was a lot of pressure. You know, we, He's we very militant, Marcus, <laughs> in his training. You know, you, you kind of see Gordon Ramsay on those shows, and they all, they all kind of grew up together, Marco Pierre White Gordon mm -hmm. and Marcus Waring, and they're of the same ilk. But it's very intense, and they take it very seriously. It's their passion. All right, so if you need to impress your significant other, what is your go-to dish? Mmm. I do this thing that sounds really not very elegant, and it, it's not very elegant, but it's so delicious. It's, just, it's like a Filipino chicken stew called chicken adobo, and it's so lovely That's with great. rice and kind of vegetables. Right. I'm like a homey cook. That'll do the trick. But All right, nice. Bradley, what's yours? I don't really have one. Really? Yeah, but the thing you have, you have to have be is like, if you are cooking for somebody and they come in the kitchen, it's really like just to be able to like be okay with that. Yeah, and, and put that, a little bit of love in the food. Oh, but I mean, not like, you know, that. like, you know, because really, oh, let me help out. Oh, okay. you like, <laughs> you like your space in the kitchen? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, that is your inclination. What is your guilty pleasure when it comes to food? There are so many. I don't even pizza. feel guilty about pizza? them. Pizza? You love pizza. What kind of I love pizza so much. You love pizza. Yeah, <laughs> you don't look true. like you love pizza. Really? Oh my God. You live for pizza. I do live for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I really. Really? Uh, don't you? Who doesn't like pizza? I like. I can't eat it all the time, though. I would oh, like really? to. Oh, really? I mean, well, you can't camera. because yeah, but you would. But I mean, how could you not like pizza? Pizza's I, yeah, good. of course, I love it. Yeah, mm. It's the best. Yeah, yeah okay. it's nothing like it. <laughs> Any type of pizza? No, I mean, I'm not a big fan of, like the pineapple chicken. Ew, like Hawaiian. Yeah, no. Yeah. no, 